Well, here we are in the middle of the forest and we're on the trail of Australopithecus Asenacarpens, the elusive man, upright walking ape man that the locals around here call Barry Man. We've placed several cameras in the forest and we're about to go find them, see if we got any shots and then we're out to look for Barry Man. We're trekking through the forest, trying to find our cameras so we can retrieve the information on them. See if we got a picture. Barry Man. <laughs> and here we are on the trail of Barry Man, following him through the woods. Oh. Just kind of, yeah, you're going to have to kind of find a spot. Take a look at the berries. Just take your time. We, we'll, we'll get it in there. Okay, now these are not even close here right now. See, now you can see a lot of these, the underbrush on these are really, this is a virgin <laughs> patch right here. This, this, nobody, as you can see, nobody's gone in here yet so far this year. Usually, this, oh, here's some berries right here. So you gotta, you gotta open them up here. So look, right there, see? Yeah, already. I've already got about, but see, this patch, sometimes you have to open it up. You gotta, you gotta get in here and look right here. Look at, take a look. Whoa, 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 whoa! See, look at that. See how you got? You got the berries right here. We got the berry over here. Now what I'll do is see. I can already feel I'm stepping on a thing right here. So, yeah, reach over there and get that one. Look at that one right there. See? Yeah, nice one there. Now I'll take the branch and I'll spread it apart a little bit. And come in, grab her. You know, and there's not just one, another one on the branch right there. And the other thing this does is, you know what, I'll tell you, what this does is, when I come in here to a new virgin patch, as you can see right here, is that it opens it up to sunlight. I start, because look at, look at how many berries are ready to go. I mean, look at that. I mean, these are all ready to go, and they, I gotta break it open. Come in, sunshine! See, that's what I'm saying. Sun, sun, we need sun. We have too much shade right now in this particular patch. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Three, there's three of them right there, look at Three, see, like where I am, right here, see? I'm right here, there's four right there. Oh, ah, let's get that. Lower down, this is Fort Wilkins State Park. So I kind of go in, we like come moving. It's like sweat. I'm, I'm like a breast stroker. Breast. <laughs> you know, I've been watching the Olympics, you know. Do you hear that? Okay, okay, this is, could be a nice little spot right here. You just gotta kind of, you know, I got a log right in front of me. Those things are dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, oh. See, look at that baby laying right on the leaf. Picked her up very nice. Oh, there's a nice one. Oh, a couple of nice ones right here. <laughs> Watch slow motion. Okay, now. Take a break, Tom. Take a break. I actually do this. I, I take a break for a second. Relax, take your time. <laughs> Back at you. What I'll do is I'll take a little, see how I'm looking? I'm looking, I'm checking. I'll actually stop the stuff. I'll take a look around. And and, and this patch really is, uh, you know, oh, whoa, see? Look at that one right there. See, this patch really is um, a couple of, Oh, baby. 
Now here's where I almost stepped on a log to knock this whole thing down. And okay, let's just be quiet. Huh? Where people make the common mistake about thimbleberries is they think they're above the leaf system, but really, actually, they're. I'd say 90% of them are below the leaves, so you have to. I wouldn't maybe not 90%, but at least 70%. So, right there, we got ourselves a little. And you see how we're starting to open it up for sunshine now. See, a lot of these leaves are, you know, a lot of these berries have, don't. When I start clearing a path for them, it brings in more sunshine and they can start developing better. One, two, three, four, five, right there. Five berries I just. The other guy? Yeah. He probably thinks he's already got all the berries. Go look at him. I know who that guy is! That's my hero! That's my hero! That is him! He doesn't even know it! The blithering idiot. That's my hero! That's Don! He's the greatest thimbleberry picker of all time. One day we were in the woods together, Don and I. I didn't know who this guy was. We were in that patch over there, right? So Don and I, this guy, I'm like, hey, buddy, get out of my patch. I said it was a joke. My name is Don, by the way. You know, <laughs> Don, look at Thimbleberry Moose. <laughs> I should put this on my face, Thimbleberry War Paint. <laughs> you know, I can talk Don and pick at the same time. So anyway, Don, I meet him in the woods here about six years ago, and he tells me the whole story about Thimbleberries, about how to make the jam, how to do this, how to do that. I mean, I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, I, <laughs> and uh, that was the first time I've seen him. I saw him at Eagle Harbor Cutoff Road about two weeks ago when I was going to town. I said, hey, there's Don. His, it's a kind of a, a weird story. Him, ah! Ooh, I dropped one, but it fell on a leaf. Saved by the bell. Um, you know why Don was here early today? Because he knows I'm here now. <laughs> Don and Don. No, Don, oh my God. Look at this, right here. Don and his sister make thimbleberry jam. And they sell it on the internet. I don't know what the name of their company is, but uh, you know, he picks the berries and she, she, uh, you know, makes the jam. And I, he, but he goes at it, see, he goes at it all day long. I mean, it's physically impossible to pick berries eight hours a day. I mean, you would go nuts. You would go crazy. I'm going crazy. I've only been here for a half hour and I'm going crazy. You know? <laughs> oh, please. Please grow. Please grow. We need water. But not too much water. Just like a half an inch. So anyway, Don, you know, you, this is how Don picks. I've watched Don pick. He goes like this. Doom, 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 doom. Because he's got eight hours. See, look, I'm going back because I saw one there. See? See, I'm out. Look at I was going that way, correct? I was going north, and now I'm, where am I going? I'm going south. Because, I have to be honest with you, one of the great axioms or tenets or canon, law, rule, artichoke, Okay, well, now I'm going south. Now I'm going northeast. Now I'm going west. Now I'm going crazy. I'm playing to the camera, as you can tell. <laughs> Yee-hoo! God, crows, they were here last night, the crows. They were cawing at me last night. Ticked off that I'm taking their berries. Well, you know what? Bad. You know, grow up, crows. This ain't your land, crows. Or bears. I'll tell you, these bears, you know, 
They love thimbleberries, but they hate them. You know what I'm saying?